Hey, this is Jessica with Ugly Mug Marketing. Today I have seven tips for building better client relationships. Stay tuned. Number one, be patient in building client relationships. Nothing's going to happen overnight, and instead of trying to indulge your client and schmooze them, take time to get to know them. Share a little bit about yourself. And ultimately, nothing is going to replace awesome work. So if your product is lacking in the end, that's going to be more damaging to that relationship than anything else. Number two, get to know your client's industry and company. Now, you don't have to be an expert, but keeping up with what's going on in your client's company and their industry will help you speak their language and just get to know them a little bit better. Number three, go the extra mile. Sometimes along the course of a project, the client may run into additional issues that maybe not have, may not have been in the original scope of work for your project. However, it's always going to be a benefit to you to really try to work with what your client needs and try to help them accomplish their goals, even if it does mean departing from the original scope of work. Now, there are always you know, cases where you may need to go back and rethink the whole project. However, in little cases like this, it's always good to just keep moving forward, helping your client accomplish their goals, even if it does depart some from the original scope of work. Number four, treat every client like your most important one. Simply put, happy clients are more likely to offer referrals, and you never know who someone is connected with, who they know, despite what company or industry they're in, and you also never know where somebody is going into the future. So if you build that strong relationship and give them a great product, wherever they go, they're going to take you with them. Number five, respond promptly. When a client emails in, acknowledge that you've received that email as quickly as possible, even if you don't know the answer to the question they may be asking, or even if you don't have time to draft out a long email response. Just acknowledge that you received their email, because this will comfort their mind. And if you're going to be out all day, or if you're going to be in meetings all day, a great thing to do would be to set up an automatic response, so that when someone emails in, they know that you've received it, but you're just out for the day, so they don't have to be wondering if you got the email or not. Number six, be more than an email address. You're going to make your relationship with your client much more personal by being able to talk to them face-to-face -face or over the phone, especially when you're delivering good or bad news. If you're delivering bad news, never go through email. It's less professional and it seems a little bit more like the coward's way out than if you were to deliver them that message over the phone or even face-to-face. If you're delivering good news, that will be able to build that client relationship even stronger, just making that personal connection. And number seven, always summarize the next steps. When you meet with a client or have a conversation with them, no matter how short it is, always do a brief recap of what you talked about and where you're going in the future. That's gonna make sure everyone's on the same page and remove a lot of potential confusion.